you all know i always have the best fish recipes in fact in this channel i bring to you the best only keep watching ahead hello hello beautiful people how is it going it's your girl claude right here and today we are going to make the best ever stuffed red snapper or the caribbean style stuffed red snapper if you're new here a very big welcome to you trust me you're in for the best subscribe and turn on the notification bell so to start off with our ingredients we have our beautiful red snapper here it is looking so good fresh and to stuff our fish, we have some already cooked kalaloo here. This one was from my garden. I just already like steamed inside hot water already. If you don't have the kalaloo or green in Cameroon, call it green or green amaranth. You can use spinach, okay, or any green you like. Some okra, carrot, yellow and red bell pepper, garlic, onion with some fresh thyme. All these, we're going to be sauteing this to stuff our fish with. Here, we have our green seasoning. If you want to know how I made my green seasoning, I will drop the link for you guys in the description box. I have my fish seasoning here. If you don't have the fish seasoning, go for your favorite all-purpose seasoning. Some seasoned salt. I have some garlic powder. I will be using some black pepper. You can use your normal salt, okay? Also, we have some paprika here to make it taste. I'll be using some seasoning powder, also beyond powder. If you have the beyond cubes, you can go ahead and use it. Trust me, do not miss this part. It's going to make your fish exceptionally tasty, if you know what I mean. And now we have to score our fish. Then we'll go right ahead to mix our marinade just inside the same plate and we are going to be marinating our fish right away after scoring. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bakes. African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bakes. Easy to follow from kids to adults. Ego yummy yummy, ego yummy yummy. Easy to follow from kids to adults. Ego yummy yummy, ego yummy yummy. Cooking with Claudie. Cooking with Claudie, easy simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie. After marinating, we're just going to set aside, or you can let it marinate for about 30 minutes to an hour. The longer it marinates, the better. So, in the hot pan, let us add in some cooking oil. First, we will put in our onion and the garlic. You want to saute that for about two minutes so that the onions are cooked so perfectly well. African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bakes. African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bakes. Easy to follow from kids to adults. At this point, bring in the rest of the fresh ingredients okay so just keep stirring that let it saute or let it cook this is gonna take for about it's gonna take about five minutes for everything to cook there okay so why um is in there i will bring in my kalalo or the green amaranth then i will go ahead to season right away for my seasonings here i will be using some fish seasoning like i said if you don't have it use your bion or your seasoning powder in in place of the fish seasoning okay 
then my salt coming if you don't have the seasoning salt go ahead and use your regular salt it's gonna work just fine the last but not the least ingredients i will be using some black pepper so guys i did not use any scotch bonnet or habanero in this recipe because my kids love fish if you want it spicy you can put your scotch bonnet or habanero or chili flakes but i have to leave that out because <laughs> when my kids whenever they see fish oh my goodness it's one of their best days so i don't want to spoil it with some spicy stuff in there so now it is looking so perfect perfectly cooked we're just gonna go ahead to stuff our fish with this stuffing so guys what you want to do is make sure you stuff the fish to the fullest like put enough of it inside it trust me when you try this recipe it's gonna be the best ever it is so good with rice and peas anything rice ripe plantains or fried plantains even potato like this fish is a perfect like it goes with everything any side goes perfectly with it so after i have stuffed everything in my fish i will just transfer onto my grilling pan right here so guys the tail of this fish is a little bit too long i'm just gonna cut that off and if you know me well guys if you have been watching my videos you're gonna know that i do not grill without my oil spray i'll just go ahead and apply some oil spray there because i want a crispy skin and a juicy inside that is how i enjoy my fish and now it's gonna go on bake okay you want to bake it so let it bake in the oven for 400 degrees fahrenheit for 20 minutes okay and this is how it's looking after baking it is looking so good so guys your fish is supposed to be in the middle rack okay and lastly too if you want it the, maybe if you want the other side like the other side of the fish crispy you can maybe flip the side but i'm not gonna flip the side because mine is just okay like this i'm just applying some oil on it and i'll just transfer onto my pan and it's ready to serve guys it's a quick recipe in 30 minutes you are done guys i always told you this recipe is the best and in this channel you are always in for the best and this is the end of the video as usual i'm gonna give a try here but i know it is good and it has been cooked to perfection where it is whitish like this and flaky it is perfect so guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate all the support to meet again in my next video bye for now stay safe and i love you all keep supporting your girl